we ended our last video, um, we had just given Prince Kamali the note from the father. And now we go outside where, here's where we came in, and you see a guard next to the one we have to get out of. And here we will find Medvi and help her get to the cavern. Here she is. So she just wants us to help her, um, like she said. And then you have to say, of course, sure that you're going to help her. She says to pick her up and toss her towards that ledge. Um, now she says it's like the wind is whacked up, so you have to be careful. But since we learned the wind thing from Zephos or whatever his real name is, um, we can just blow the wind north and it will always blow north. So makes it easier. Just run up here, face her and throw her. If you didn't get the the new wind waker wind thing, then you'll have to watch until it's blowing, it's blowing the right way. And now she's going to go see if she can talk to Baloo because she understands a little of it. And now she gets this our very, um, very useful item. It'll come in very handy, it's an empty bottle. First it seems like, oh crud, why would she give us to that, give us that, I mean, come on, seriously. But, whatever. Take out the empty. Pick up some water. We run towards this. We can use it as a ladder to climb up. Okay, that was embarrassing. Yes. Pour the empty water on these dry plant bottom plants. Try and time it a little. If not, you don't have to, I guess. But it makes it easier. That it blows it up. And then we can just swim across to get to the cabin. Although I wish it were that easy. Still have a little more to do. over here and now we have to shoot some hoops sort of thing. Throw the bombs into the containers. It takes me a while. Not exactly the best at basketball or I'm not good at basketball but anyway when you finish that you just enter the cavern. I'm gonna save it right here. In case you die. Now 
we're in the Dragon Roost Cavern. Um, if you want to break this open, you get like a few rupees. You can't move the green one because it's covered like the stone covers it. So just move these two. Just run right in here. Now we see two Bacalans that have fire stick things. Okay, that's not cool. So, kill him. Enjoy Bandit. We'll be needing a lot of these because like they said the teacher the teacher likes joy pendants. Just gonna relight this thing. Just because it might be losing its lightingness. So we just light these torches and then a chest will appear. And that in there is a small key that we need to get out of this room. You want to break those pots and pieces or whatever? You just attack the wood. It's partially broken, so we can just attack it with our hero sword. Go towards the left. Don't go in there yet. You run. Can we make it? Oh no, no, you're not supposed to. You have to grab this. And run over here. Dropping is easier to target but harder to run away, so just decided to throw it. The good thing about this cavern is if you ever lose a health, you can just normally like break pots to get some health, I guess. These contain water, so we just throw them in the lava and it'll form a little platform. So we jump over here and um I think this is a dungeon map. Yeah. Okay, so that one won't help us get over here, so I have to throw this. Even though know, that's really impossible because it'd be so freaking hot. One of our eight that we will hold in our spoils bag. So now we can just enter this room without a problem. Here, be careful because this cauldron comes jumping out of the base with its machete to break open that for me. Um, now we have to pick it up. And you can either throw it or attack it. They're too rich. Oh, red shoe shoes. Thank you, Brad. So we get the small key to move on. Um, and what? But we don't use it yet. We use it at the door pad. She she goes to walk out. What comes next? We will find out in the next video.